स्क्रिप्ट मैथमेटिक्स इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स नव वी स्टार्ट विथ यूनिट नंबर टू ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्ट मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज लेटाइस एंड बुलियन अलजिब्रा नाउ we have already defined what is the meaning of partial order relation on some set a so partial order relation is a relation which is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive now we define poset that is partially ordered set a set a together with partial order relation r on it is called a partially ordered set or simply a poset by taking p of partially o of ordered and set so it is a poset it is denoted by a comma r so first we write set and then the partial order relation on that set now first example show that the greater than or equal to relation is a partial order relation on the set of integers z it means z together with greater than or equal to is a poset that is the another way of asking the question so to show it is a partial order relation We show it is reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive. So for reflexivity, every a in Z must be related to itself. Now here, for every a in Z, a is greater than or equal to a. So relation is reflexive. Now for anti-symmetry, we consider two elements a and b in Z such that a related to b and b related to a. Means a greater than or equal to b and b greater than or equal to a. Now if both are at a time occurring it means a equal to b so relation is anti symmetric now for transitivity we consider three elements a b c such that a greater than or equal to b and b greater than or equal to c then a greater than or equal to c that means a related to c so relation is transitive now as relation is reflexive anti symmetric and transitive it is a partial order relation on the set of integers z and hence z together with greater than or equal to relation is a poset now similar to that here less than or equal to relation is a partial order relation on the set of real numbers r again in the same way we can show that it is a partial order relation similarly n with less than or equal to z with less than or equal to are also posets generally the partial order relation is denoted by this symbol which is less than or equal to symbol but we are not writing and reading like less than or equal to right now here after we will denote a partial order relation by that symbol but instead of reading it as a less than or equal to b we read this as a precedes b now next example define a divisibility relation on n that is a precedes b this is not less than or equal to now this is just the notation so a precedes b if and only if a divides b so that this relation is a partial order relation on n so again we check the three properties first is reflexive so for reflexivity we have to show a precedes a means a related to a now check the condition now every natural number a divides itself and so a precedes a means the relation is reflexive now for anti symmetry we take two natural numbers a and b such that a related to b and b related to a that is a precedes b and b precedes a so by definition of relation we get a divides b and b divides a so a and b are equal now here a and b are natural numbers so we can write if a divides b b divides a then they are equal if it is a set of integers then we can't write this for example if a is 2 and b is minus 2 then 2 divides minus 2 and minus 2 divides 2 so both happens but 2 and minus 2 are not equal but in this case it is a set of natural numbers so there are no negative numbers so if a divides b and b divides a it means a and b are equal and hence the relation is anti symmetric now for transitivity we take three numbers a b c in n such that a is related to b and b is related to c means a precedes b and b precedes c so by definition a divides b and b divides c implies a divides c means a precedes c so the relation is transitive 
Now, as the relation is reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive, it is a partial order relation on set of natural numbers n. So, n together with this relation means together with divisibility relation is a coset. Now, this is very important relation which we are using in further examples. Now, one more example. Let S be any set and P S denote the power set of S. That is set of all subsets of S. Define set inclusion relation on P S. That is for X, Y and P of S. X is related to Y if and only if X is subset of Y. Show that P S with R is a coset. So again we check for reflexivity, anti-symmetry and transitivity. Now P of S is the set of all subsets of S. Okay, so, we are denoting members of PS by capital letters. Now, the first part reflexivity means X is related to X. Now, as every set is subset of itself, we can write X subset of X for every X in PX. Means X is related to X for every X in PS and hence the relation is reflexive. Now, for anti-symmetry, we consider XY in PS such that X related to Y and y related to x. So, by definition of relation, x is subset of y and y is subset of x. This implies x equal to y and hence r is anti-symmetric. Now, for transitivity, we consider three members of PS, say x, y, z, such that x is related to y and y is related to z. Then, by definition of relation, x is subset of y and y is subset of z implies x subset of z. Hence, x is related to z. That means the relation is transitive. It means r is reflexive, anti-symmetric and transitive. So, r is a partial order relation on PS. Hence, PSR is a coset. Now, hash diagram. Now, it is a special type of directed graph which is drawn for a finite coset with following Convention. So, hash diagram is drawn only for finite poset means partially ordered set. Now, what are the conventions while drawing the hash diagram? Denote the elements by vertices. Since the partial order relation is reflexive, there is a self loop at each vertex. We don't show these loops. Then, remove all edges that must be present due to transitivity. For example, if A is related to B and B related to C, then this implies that A related to C. So, we remove A, R, C. That means by joining A, B and B, C, it follows that A is related to C. So, it is not necessary to draw a line segment from A to C separately. If A is related to B, then we put A at a lower level and B at upper level. So, A must be at a lower level than B. Now, we, we assume that all arrows point upward. So, we remove the directions of the arrows. Now, using the conventions for drawing haze diagram, now we draw the haze diagram representing the partial order relation divisibility on the set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. That is here A precedes B if and only if A divides B. Now similar to divisibility relation on A, this relation of divisibility is a partial order relation on A which is subset of N. Now we write that relation in terms of ordered pairs. Now the relation is equal to ordered pair AB in A cross A such that A divides B. Now as one divides every element of A, one is related to each element of A. So, we write all the pairs 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 6, 1, 12. Now, 2 divides 2, 4, 6, 12. So, we write 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 12. 3 divides 3, 6 and 12. So, 3, 3, 3, 6, 3, 12. At 4 divides 4 and 12, we get 4, 4 and 4, 12. 6 divides 6 and 12. So, 6, 6 and 6, 12. And 12 divides 12. So, we write 12, comma. 12. So, this is the uh, relation defined on that set A. Now, to draw the haze diagram, we represent 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12 each element by some small circle. Now, as 1 divides every element, but there is no element which divides 1 in this case, 
वन इज एट लोएस्ट लेवल सो वी स्टार्ट विथ वन सो वी रिप्रेजेंट वन बाय स्मॉल सर्कल एंड देर इज नो एलिमेंट बिलो दैट वन because no element divides one from that set now one divides two and one divides three and this relationship is directly it means there is no element in between such that one divides a and a divides two or one divides a and a divides three so above one we take two and three and we join them by line segment we are not showing directions because all the directions are in upward direction only that is the convention so one related to two one related to three that part we have shown now two actually related to two but we are not showing any self loop then two is related to four it means two divides four again this relationship is direct that means there is no element a such that two divides a and a divides four so for two divides four we take four above two and we join them by line segment then 2 divides 6 again there is no element a such that 2 divides a and a divides 6 so directly we have to show that 2 is related to 6 so above 2 we have to take 6 somewhere and then we join them by line segment but i have not taken here above 4 because actually 4 is not related to 6 so it is above 2 to the right side then 2 12 if you consider actually 2 divides 12 that is true but 2 divides 4 and 4 divides 12 that means there exist 4 in a such that 2 divides 4 4 divides 12 so this relation we can show via 4 so as 2 is related to 4 and 4 related to 12 directly we can draw line segment for 4 to 12 and not necessary to draw the line segment from 2 to 12 separately then 3 3 that is self loop which we are not showing then 3 divide 6 directly so 3 6 we have to draw the line segment then 3 12 again 3 divide 12 but there is 6 such that 3 divide 6 and 6 divide 12 so for 3 6 we have shown by line segment same way draw the line segment from 6 to 12 so by transitivity we get 3 divide 12 that part now 4 4 loop again which we are not showing 4 12 so 4 is directly related to 12 so we have drawn the line segment 6 12 already we have done and 12 12 we are not showing as it is a loop so in this way we can draw the hash diagram now the set a in above example consists of all divisors of 12 in general for any positive integer n the set of positive divisors of n is denoted by dn so actually this set is set of all positive divisors of 12 means we can denote it by d12 also note that dn with the divides relation forms a poset now similar to previous question this is one more example draw the hash diagram of the poset d42 the set of all divisors of 42 with respect to partial order relation divides now t42 is nothing but set of all positive divisors of 42 so it contains 1 2 3 6 7 14 21 22 and 42 now consider the relation of divisibility we can write the relation in terms of ordered pairs and similar to previous question we can draw the hash diagram now a is equal to abc consider the partial ordering relation on set a which is uh, set inclusion relation now draw the hash diagram for p of a with set inclusion relation now a is abc now what is p of a set of all subsets of a which contains five singleton a singleton b singleton c then ab bc ac and abc now here the relation is like for x y in a p of a x is related to y if and only if x is subset of y now there is no element in p of a which is subset of phi means no element is related to phi so phi is at lowest level now phi is subset of every set actually so phi is related to each element but if you observe here phi is subset of singleton a singleton b singleton c directly means there is no 
set x such that phi subset of x and subset of singleton a. So above phi at upper level, we have to take three elements, singleton a, singleton b, singleton c. And we join phi to singleton a, phi to singleton b and phi to singleton c as they are related. Now see singleton a. Now singleton a is subset of a, b and a, b, c. But singleton a, there exists a, b such that singleton a is subset of a, b, subset of a, b, c. So singleton a is related to a, b, c that is related elements by transitivity. So we can show them through a, b. But a is related to a, b directly. So above a, we show a, b and draw the line segment. Similarly, singleton B is subset of single, uh, subset of AB which we show directly. Same way, singleton B is subset of BC which we show directly and same way for C. Now, AB is subset of ABC and there is no set X such that AB subset of X subset of ABC. So, this relationship is directly. But now, as A is subset of AB and AB is subset of ABC by transitivity, A is subset of ABC. Means A related to ABC that we got. So, in this way, you can complete the diagram. Now, from the has diagram given below, find the relation and the corresponding set. Now, in previous examples, we have given the relation and we have drawn the has diagram. Now, for the has diagram, we have to write the corresponding relation. Now, first see which elements are present in that diagram. A, B, C, D. It means that relation is defined on set containing A, B, C, D. Now, First, as every element is it related to itself, as it is a reflexive relation, we write all the pairs A, A, B, B, C, C and D, D. Now, see here, above A, C is there and A to C directed line segment is there. So, A related to C. Similarly, above C, D is there and C to D there is a line segment. It means C is related to D. Now, AC is there, CD is there. So, by transitivity, A is related to D. So, we get AD also. Now, above B, C is there and B to C there is line segment. So, it is B comma C pair. Now, C comma D already we have written. Now, by transitivity, B related to C, C related to D means B related to D. So, these are the pairs present in that relation. So, from the hash diagram also we can interpret the relation.